Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and this is the start of a new Let's Play. It's Fez. Um, I downloaded it via uh, PSN, so the PlayStation Network. It was free if you're a PlayStation Plus member. It came out in like 2012, but like I said, it was free, and I thought I was going to give it a go. Um, it's short from what I understand, only, you know, like five to eight hours long, depending on excuse me, depending on how completionist you're going to get about it, and uh, I have no intentions of being that type of way with this game. You're trapped, I say you're trapped, but you start out as a 2D character and eventually the world becomes a 3D model, and you kind of have to work your way around and collect objects and kind of get your way through each individual world and uh, and things like that. Looking at this Fez thing, like it's cool how you see 3D cubes and how things can either kind of fade in or fade out depending on how you're looking at the cube. It's all about perception and perspective, right? And depth. Depth also helps. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. From what I've seen, it's a really cute game and it would be something light to go with. Um, I did play a little bit of it just so that I had an understanding of what I was doing. I didn't get very far. Like, that's that 6% is only World 2. Like, I just started World 2 and I was just jumping around a little bit to kind of figure out what exactly I was doing. So, the first world I'll go through with you guys and we'll go together. And then um, I'll have a little bit of knowledge behind that. But the second world and really anything beyond that, um, we're going to be playing blind. So, we're going to go ahead and start an empty slot and we're going to start a new game. Uh, I kind of figured this would be quick and easy, something light to do, one for work so I can have a review, and two for the simple fact that, two, not Tomb Raider, uh, Watch Dogs is going to be done here soon. By the time this post, Watch Dogs will be done for a little bit, and then we'll go like this. So on the PS4 controller, you hit up to get through the doors, and we're going to get a message here in a second. But yeah, Watch Dogs will be done. Watch Dogs, by the time of this recording, it's, it's done. I just have to get the rest of the videos posted. And then uh, Tomb Raider will probably mostly be done by that point. I'm actually not sure how much more of Tomb Raider I have to go. I was kind of surprised by how long that, that game is proving to be. I'm loving it, don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic game, but... Um, Dear Gomez, please meet me at Top of Village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Signed, Geezer. Okay. So circle will get you out of those type of things. Square is to jump. I don't know why I just fell like that. Um, you can talk to people with circle. They're, uh, they're pretty ridiculous people around here. Uh, ladders is still using the, um, the left directional stick. You can do that. You can climb on these vines. You can also kind of do like a, a jump like you would be able to do in other games. And as long as you're holding up, you'll be able to hit the uh, that. And then, let's see, you can move around with right thumbstick and it'll kind of show you every place. Again, you can kind of just jump around. It's like I said, it's a 2D world, but you can kind of move up and around, basically. So our goal is to get up here, and we're going to talk to Geezer. Ha! Huh, there you are. Today is special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. I felt like somebody was going to morph the first time I heard that. Any time now. Just you. There you go. Okay, and my vibrators control are going out of control with its vibrations. And uh, we're going to go on a trip, guys. We're going to go on a psychedelic trip. But yeah, like I was saying, Watch Dogs will be done. Tomb Raider will I'll probably be done recording it if all the videos aren't posted. And then we'll still be doing The Last of Us for PS4. And then probably by the time all this is done and, and whatever, it'll be time for Destiny. And then there's a few other games. I can't... Oh. So this thing is, this cube is talking to us, but it's in some sort of gibberish and we can't understand what the hell it's talking about. And, um, I'm not all too sure what other games I want to play. Hold on one sec. And more gibberish. Like, I can't read it, so we're not going to sit there and really worry about it. But yeah, let's see. I have uh, Sunset Overdrive, Fire, or Far Cry 4, Super Smash Brothers, Destiny, Evolve. I think which just got put back. Oh, here, we're getting a, a little gift. And if you can't tell, it's uh, more than just flat. It's, m it's more than one-dimensional. So, well, I guess we're 2D right now because we can go up, down, left, and right. But this will allow us to go in three dimensions, which is sideways. 
Um, so Assassin's Creed Unity, I think, just got pushed back to. I got The Last of Us. Uh, Alien Isolation and then Borderlands the pre-sequel. Um, I don't want... I don't... Oops, see, we can change perspective. And now the cube is very upset with us. And this will be the premise, which we're going to learn about here shortly. All these scattered cubes. You'll see that they're the same basic shape and dimension as the lettering in Fez, the title screen. So, <laughs> doing during this part, I freaked the hell out because I was like, what the hell is this? And I should have known right there was the little polytron sign up in the left-hand corner of the last screen that that was supposed to be intentional. But I thought my PS4 had, like, rebooted or whatever. It was very strange. And then I saw it doing this, and then I knew, like, okay, that's part of the game. It's, uh... Simplifying that we are entering a new reality, if you will. So, uh, okay. So we wake up, and we have our little uh, little thing on our hat. I, but see, now we can uh, chain perspective in any room or in any level that we're at. Look how pretty that is, right? God, this game is gorgeous. Slowly gonna make its way down to us. Gomez, something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. The hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered, and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You've received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village, and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. This door leads to the outside world, but for now is shield shut. The markings on it, re oh, I'm sorry, the marking on it indicates that it won't open unless you've coll er, collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you need to collect all 32 cubes, but first you must leave this place. There are eight cube bits in this village, like this one right here. Together, they'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. So, quick recap, shiny golden cubes, very important. Gotta find them all, or else the universe collapses with you in it. No pressure, and remember, use R2, L2 to change perspective. Now get going. Okay, so we're gonna spend a few minutes collecting these cubes. I'm trying to remember where they're all at. But it doesn't matter, oops. Um, so yeah, so that can happen, um, something I learned after the fact. You can switch perspective, but if you're no longer standing on something, you will fall. So there's another cube. Um, let's see. I know we can... Oops. To the door here we're going to want... I think we're going to want to go into it. So a lot of them I thought were going to be on the outside, but there's... um, You can talk to, to geezers in, in here. It's like, it's been so long, it's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus the eye thing. Um, oh, I next room we'll go through. I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit more of that, but... Um, that door below us is locked, so we can't do much with it now. But yeah, every time you enter and exit a room, Dot will show you kind of what's going on. So we can walk up and you'll see. It'll show you basically where you're going out. It's just the coolest little thing. So we'll do this. Oops, come here. Okay, and then we're going to hop over here. And, um, I think it's like this. Okay, we're going to walk out in front. So yeah, so Dot will show us things like these treasure chests. So we're going to open it, okay? Very Zelda sounding like, right? Okay, so we found the key. Can only be used once, and there's only one lock. Is it showing me what's in the Yeah. Um, there's only one locked thing here, and we're going to go ahead and pop on in. Come on, there we go. And it shows us the treasure map, which we can... Um, oh, I don't know why I just kind of skimmed through that, sorry. There's nothing we could really do with it at the moment. It doesn't, we don't have the ability to look at it yet. But we'll figure it out here in a minute. So we're gonna hop up here. I'm trying to remember where the last of them are. There's, there's eight altogether, like Dot was saying, I just can't remember. How many do we have? It looks like we have four. So that's five. I'm pretty sure there's one at the very, very top. 
Um, there's got... I think these, when the doors are still closed, we actually haven't been in them yet. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold to it. Okay. So, again, it's all about changing for, come on, get down, Fez. Or, I'm sorry, Gomez. Damn it, Gomez! And we're gonna change back to get the door. It was weird the first time playing through it a little bit, because I was like, where the hell did the door go? Like, I had no idea. So there's one, let's, oops. We might as well go ahead and grab that real quick. I actually think I need to be on this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll grab this one real fast. That should make seven. I can't exactly remember. Oh, let's try let's try right here. Damn it. Um, if you fall too far, you uh you kinda die. So we'll jump and we'll come on, can I knock it up there? There we go. Okay. Make our way in here. This may be the last one, I can't remember. Da 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 dum! So that's cube number eight. So as you can tell, Gomez gets very, very excited every time we get a cube. Um, I come up here. There we go. I'm like, Dot has to talk to us. We did it. Now you can unseal the door. Let's go. So, um, yeah, you're, you can jump off these things, which is going to help with progress, because otherwise, oh, come on. Yep. Nope. Okay. And then depending on where you are here, um, you'll want to head to the back because you, you'll want to be on this. Because this is where the door is. Because the door is down at this. Come on. There you go. The door is down on this level. And then it'll open automatically once you get to it. So the door is unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? And then you go in just like any other door. And uh, we have a new one. Hey, listen. I know this is your first time outside the village. So if you get lost, you can use the world map. Touch the, I'm sorry, press the touchpad button to bring up the world map. So on the PS4 controller, the touchpad, um, it'll show you the world map. This is the world map. It shows you where you've been. You can zoom out using L1 and R1 um, and rotate with L2 and R2. Why? Um, each node represents a place in the world. A gold plating on a node means that you found every item, secret, or passage in that node. And then uh, he'll disappear. So... There's gold platings on some of them already. I think I don't I don't quite know what's going on, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So this is where I left off last time, guys. And this episode's only like 12 minutes long, so we'll we'll see about doing this world too. So, um, I'm assuming we're gonna head up. And this is what I meant by the jump. Like with your X, you can kind of jump. And as long as you're holding up, swap over. Okay, there's some up there because you see those vibrations. Oh well. It's not doing it now, but... Oh. Um... There we go. I want I wanted to get these ducks out of here. Okay, so that's... One. Two. Oh, damn, they're all right here. Three. Jeez. Four. Five. Oh, oh, almost fell. Six. This is a basic rotation, guys. Let's jump up here. Okay, and was that eight? God damn, that was quick. Look, I still get really excited. I love it. And look at the uh, constellations in the background. I didn't notice that. They're like Tetris pieces. And here's the door. So um, before we leave, though, let's not not that triangle. We'll bring up your uh, your cube shards. So we have two. There's 32 all together, and there's keys that we can get, but they are just one time use only. Um, R2 will switch it, and that's a treasure map, though I don't know how the hell to read this. Um, you can switch it if you want. It does me no good at the moment, because I don't know what to do with it. Apparently there's some artifacts we can get, and then there's a blank wall. So we're gonna go ahead and pop into the next world. Whoa! Check this place out. Feels pretty important, eh? Let's have a look around, shall we? Oh, no way! It's another door. I told you there would be a lot of doors. This one requires four cubes. This one requires eight, Jesus! And this one's sixteen. This place it looks like some kind of important door place. Oh, I don't know. That's why you're here. Now go find them cubes. Um, okay, so this is the... Uh, the last level was really the extent of my knowledge, but I kind of figured that it would be pretty simple and still tutorial. I'm thinking this is some type of hub. Um, I don't know yet, though, but we're going to go ahead and call the episode quits, guys. Again, this is Dominic with Silver Screening Reviews.
and thank you for watching this episode of Fez. If you guys enjoyed the start of this quirky little Let's Play, leave a like down below. I thought it was adorable and cute, and I'd love to hear back from you guys. Um, if you have any comments, criticisms, suggestions, critiques, advice, if you've been playing the game, let me know what's coming up. I'd love to hear from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, just as Gomez is right now, and I will see you in the next part.